those of you who've gotten tenure, for those of you who've been promoted to fall, obviously a remarkable achievement, uh, personal achievement, but I also think it speaks to uh, the culture in your departments and units where your colleagues have supported you. One of the things that um, I've been talking about a lot lately is the distribution of the kind of research we do on this campus and how that distribution may vary from research on other kinds of campuses. And in particular, how we value uh, a broader distribution from what one might call basic science or bench science to the purely applied sciences. And I think that's as it should be. I think the question isn't whether it's applied or theoretical. The question is whether it is of high quality and whether it is done rigorously. And I think that's the test that we apply and want to continue to apply. And I think we want to continue to open the aperture up on the way we think about scholarship. But the one thing that we must bear in mind as a commonality as it is that it is about excellence. It is about high intellectual standards. Somebody once told me the definition of tenure, which is, could we identify the people who were crazy enough to work like mad even when they didn't have to? And I think today we've identified who those crazy people are. Sometimes it's harder taking that next step because you've used up all your brain to get to any you used up all your good ideas. And now, what it, I, I have to admit, I sat there for about six months and went, well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't have any ideas, I don't have any ideas left. Don't panic, uh, they will come to you. But do give yourself, give yourself a little breathing room. Uh, it's, a tough, it's a tough hurdle. To, to, to clear, and uh, one of which you're so very, very proud of you. It's uh, you're part of the club. There's a secret handshake. Your colleagues have been giving to each other that you've not known about in your departments. But uh, congratulations. Please enjoy the, the evening. You have crossed the bar, so to speak, whether it is the bar to associate professor or full professor, at a time when standards are being ratcheted up almost continuously. Standards in terms of what we accomplish and expectations about the workload that we carry. The achievement is phenomenal. We are fortunate at UNCG to have faculty who are first-rate scholars and faculty who care immensely about students. So I can't tell you how fortunate we are to have you as a permanent member of the club, so to speak. I do want to underline permanent. It means you can never leave. <laughs> UNCG is a very special place, and it's a special place because of you. I won't uh, stand in the way of uh, good colleagues and celebration. I would like to say again, thank you and congratulations. This recognition event is very near and dear to my heart because it actually acknowledges the role that libraries and books have played in furthering the information, the scholarship, and the success of all of you. I believe that everyone has had that one book that has served as inspiration for not only their professional development, but potentially their personal growth as well. As everything moves so fast around us and change becomes constant, it's so nice to pause and think about how we got here and what special books and authors influenced the way we think and the paths we have chosen. Um, with that in mind, I just want to share some interesting facts about the books that have been selected this year. Uh, Twelve of the twenty books are nonfiction. Uh, we have one children's picture book and one photography book. We have three works of fiction, two autobiographies, and one autobiographical novel. Uh, so again, thank you all, and congratulations to all of you.